Hey everyone, how you doing? Ah yes, November. The month that almost everybody forgets about because December is the month right after. Yeah, needless to say, most people consider this a transition month and nothing more. But believe it or not, there's actually a holiday tied to this event in North America called Thanksgiving. And Plants vs. Zombies has its own spin on this event called Fall Food Fight. So hey, welcome back! This is a small series where I cover every seasonal event in the PvZ franchise, and this time around, this one is rather small. But regardless, we still have some events to discuss. Also, real quick, if you're interested in discussing PvZ with other like-minded people, I recommend checking out the Floral Federation Discord server. We're actually going to host a bingo event soon, so now is a better time to join than ever before. Shameless plug. But anyways, let's get right into it. So, we'll start out with the biggest fish of all the games that celebrate the event, that being none other than PvZ2. This event began in 2014, and when it came out, it was basically just a glorified pinata party event. But to compensate, the event itself brought a new custom lawn that's overflowing with leftover food, as well as new zombie redesigns, and to top it all off, new plants too. The first plant to ever be introduced in the event was Sweet Potato, and almost every year beyond that point, we've gotten other plants in November, such as Parsnip, Turkey Poult, and upcoming this year, Cran Jelly. Look, it's close enough, it counts. Also in the newer years, we're now getting Thymed events too, which I just think is nice. But yeah, for PvZ2, this event is pretty basic, and there's not much going on. And honestly, that could be said about almost every other game that celebrates it too. Garden Warfare had a sticker pack that gave zombies with literal cooked turkeys as heads. I have no idea why this was their plan, but it's funny regardless. And PvZ Heroes was also a pretty small ordeal, only having a few new cards and a card pack to buy from. It's boring, so we're not going to discuss it further. But as for BFN, this is realistically where the rest of this video goes. As always with this game, PopCap kind of went crazy with the content. So to start out, Giddy Park is coated with food and food memorabilia too. And on top of this, the monthly hat has nothing to do with food. Cool. There's also the prize map, which is basically just a glorified nightcap map. And the outfits here aren't even food related, besides the scientist one, which is actually pretty sweet, no pun intended. But yeah, that's about the biggest food thing you can get here, so it's kinda meh. But unlike with most other months in BFN, there was actually one small thing added to this month, which was a quest. This quest was given to you by this stupid acorn, and you basically go around Giddy Park and the BFN campaigns to collect pies. Once you collect all 24, you're given a pretty mediocre looking cosmetic that's exclusive to acorn. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, admittedly, BFN and PvZ2 kind of carry this month, but even so, it's still a pretty small one. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. <laughs> and with that being said, I think I'll be ending this video here. Thank you all so much for watching until the end, I really do appreciate it. And since you're still here, I want to ask, what are your thoughts on Fall Food Fight? Do you like this event, or do you think it's meh? Tell me your thoughts and more in the comments down below. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to Gravitry, Aldenity for Omens, and Wapfa for being $5 supporters of my channel. All of you rock, thank you so much. Now, as for me, I've got some ice to thaw out for the holiday season, so I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.